Hey guys, this is John Rania and today pag-uusapan natin this most expensive thing that you own. Ouch. Let's go. Hey guys, this is John Rania and today pag-uusapan natin to what is this bang Sir John the most expensive thing that we own. Okay? And I'm talking about yung big ego. So in this video, I'll be talking about ego and I'm talking referring to big ego. You see, lahat naman tayo may ego eh. It's just like sort of a self-esteem, proud in some ways, in some things, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that there are things na, you know, pag sobra medyo nagiging masama and that is including tong unhealthy ego or yung tawagin na lang natin big ego. And in today's video, I'll share with you why this is the most expensive thing that you own. By the end of this video, check yourself and ask yourself, okay? Number one, if you have a big ego, it makes you think na alam mo na lahat. That is why some people, they don't want to attend workshop, buy books, attend seminar, know new things from other people. In fact, pag nakakapanood sila ng ganitong video, naiinis na sila sa mukha ko. <laughs> and to anyone who's teaching, because they feel na, alam ko na yan. I'm smarter than you. Hmm. So that is the problem. Because like, alin yung perfect analogy rito? Yung sinasabi nila yung baso daw, right? Yung baso, eh, puno na ng tubig. Well, kahit buhu buhusan mo siya pa ng tubig, hindi na malalagyan yung baso. Kasi puno na. The same thing with our ego. If it's so big, we are not willing to learn new things, to learn from other people. That is the problem. That is why a lot of people are struggling. A year ago, I enrolled in this program that it cost me about 1 million pesos. I know, that's a lot of money. That is because I want to learn more from people who knows more than me, who makes more money than me, who has more bigger business than me. And that's what I'll share with you guys. It's the same thing is you have to search, look for mentors. It doesn't have to be me. And you don't have to buy my program, my courses. Go somewhere else that you feel more comfortable. Go with them. But the key here is you must humble and learn your learn regardless kung anong edad na. Because minsan, the more we get older, you know, the more we kinda medyo matigas na eh, yung puso mo eh. Na pagka merong mas bata sa'yo, minsan parang hindi natin ma-accept that this person is much younger than you. And lalo na pagka meron kang sandamakmak na certification and degree and you have all these three letters by the end of your name. And then someone coaching you, teaching you, walang tinapos, right? That is the problem. You have to check. Diba? Sabi nga nila, pagka sobrang laki na ng ulo mo, anong problema? Hindi magkasya sa pinto. Hindi makapaso. There's the same thing. Hindi makapaso ang new knowledge. Hindi makapaso ang new income, new health, better relationship, better business. That is because your ego is so big. That is one thing or one reason why ego can be expensive. Number two, the reason why this having this ego can be super expensive for you that you own because Diba, sabi nga nila, there's a quote saying, we buy things that we cannot afford just to impress people that we do not like. Isn't that crazy? We buy things. Kahit na mahal, kahit na sa totoo, hindi mo naman kaya. Kahit sa totoo, iuutang mo pa. Just to impress other people. That is the problem. That is why, kahit anong laki ng kita mo, my friend, listen up. If you try to buy stuff, if you, if you make a million a month, but your expense is 1.5 million, baon ka pa din sa utang. And that is the problem because we try what? To impress other people. We dress to impress. Of course, you're not gonna buy stuff na hindi mo pa-post sa Instagram or sa Facebook. Siyempre, hindi ka pupunta sa magandang mamahaling hotel at bakasyon and restaurant na hindi mo ipopost sa Facebook, sa Instagram. You guys know what I'm saying. Now, there's nothing wrong if you're happy if you're sharing it to other people. But you know your heart. Ikaw lang naman ang makapagsabi ng real motives, right? Why you post pictures on, on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Right? But again, the point here is if you buy stuff to impress other people, that's where we get into trouble. 
that is why it's become expensive especially pag sa swipe mo sa credit card mo napakataas ang interest rate that is a problem and number three and the biggest of all especially kung gusto mo maging successful sa negosyo is this you have to understand my friend that human being we are very good at understanding other human being so, ibig sabihin, we can tell if someone has a big ego as soon as we met them face to face, we talk to them, we listen to them, we hear them. You can easily tell if someone is a big ego. Now, here's the thing, my friend. Walang gustong makipagtrabaho or makipagpartner sa isang tao na malaki ang ego. Alam lang nila na magkakaroon lang ng clash, magkakaroon lang ng problema. There's no point I'm gonna work with this person. There's no point I'm gonna reach out to this person, right? Because ang ego niya malaki. And because of that, you're losing a lot of opportunities, my friend. You're losing a lot of opportunities to work with smart people that can help you grow your business, make you more money. It will prevent you also to have these partners or network that can help you again grow your business no more people again why because i don't know with you my friend but for me it's like if i see someone with a big ego it's pride and i don't want to be surrounded by them that is the truth because again sometimes if not well actually it's not sometimes <laughs> all the time these big ego people have more negative things to say rather than positive. It's more fun and enjoyable to work with or to have meeting with or to have lunch with, dinner with someone na successful, but you can see their humility, right? You will see it naman eh. Very simple. Here's the thing. Here's one. And I'm going to end this video with this one quick tip. If you know someone has more humility in his heart, and that is normally they ask a lot of questions. They are so curious about what you do, what your opinion on these things. Because they know themselves that hindi nila alam ang lahat ng bagay. And in fact, these humble people will gonna reach out more from other people. Hey guys, do you know this? Do you know anyone expert on this one? Do you know anyone who, who knows about this thing? Do you know anyone? Right? That is a sign of people with humility so i hope this helps and again by the end of this video guys i would like you to check your ego check it malaki ba ego ko o hindi and of course everything starts with the realization sometimes you know uh, kung meron ka mang sakit <laughs> sabi nila the the first step to cure is re realization meaning accepting that you have problem okay that's it for today have a good day bye bye Wait, before you go, do not forget to click that red subscribe button below. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.